Good morning, East Texas. I'm Sarah Miller, and this is the TylerPaper.com Morning News Update. At least 22 children died, and more than two dozen others were sick after eating a free school lunch that was tainted with insecticide, according to Indian officials. It was not immediately clear how chemicals ended up in the food in a school in the eastern state of Bihar. One official said the food may not have been properly washed before it was cooked. The children between the ages of 5 and 12 fell ill Tuesday, soon after eating lunch. School authorities immediately stopped serving the meal of rice, lentils, soybeans, and potatoes as the children started vomiting. The lunch, part of a popular national campaign to give at least one daily hot meal to children from poor families, was cooked in the school kitchen. Water is being turned off for tens of thousands of people in suburban Washington, D.C. during a brutal heat wave. The water could be off for five days while a faulty pipeline is repaired. With East Coast temperatures reaching near triple digits, tens of thousands of people near Washington, D.C. are facing a new danger. Residents of southern Prince George's County, Maryland, could be without water for up to five days. Do you have a bathtub in there? Yes, ma'am. Fill that bathtub all the way up with water. Okay. The water is being shut off while a pipeline is repaired. Water officials say they put restrictions in place so that there's enough water left for firefighters. We would not do this in this heat and put customers without water if we didn't have to. But we know we have to for the safety of everyone in the area. We need to get this pipe out of service and get a new piece in there. Officials warned residents to stock up and to look after their neighbors. So I went out, uh, bought cases and cases of water. You should have the shelf. Water. Mandatory water restrictions officially took effect Tuesday night. Matt Small, the Associated Press. Here are the rest of this hour's top stories. This is AP News Minute. President Obama's Affordable Care Act goes to the House of Representatives for a new vote Wednesday. The House is voting on the President's plan to delay a key part of the health care reform law for a year. Cleveland kidnapping suspect Ariel Castro goes back to court Wednesday to face an expanded indictment. Castro is accused of kidnapping three women and holding them hostage for about a decade. A wildfire near Palm Springs, California has burned seven homes and scorched 14 square miles. More than 2,000 firefighters are battling the blaze. And Russian renegade punk band Pussy Riot released a new music video, even though two of its members are in prison. The new video criticizes Russia's oil industry. Matt Small, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. This morning's featured focus in on Dot Me photo gallery was taken by Shannon Wilson of Lindo Students Designing a House. All the photos are available for purchase. Visit Focus In on Dot Me by clicking the photos link at the top of any TylerPaper.com page. Now let's take a look at your weather. Your CBS 19 East Texas Midweek Wednesday weather forecast. Big upper level low pressure system that's been bringing us the off and on again rain and definitely the cloud covering cooler temperatures. Continues to move in a southwesterly direction. Dropping into Mexico during the day today. As that low moves away from us, our chance for wet weather also moves off to the west. However, with a southeasterly fetch of moisture still coming off the Gulf of Mexico, humidity of the dew point levels pretty high across East Texas. The moisture content still up there. With daytime heating, about a 30% chance for widely scattered showers and a few embedded thunderstorms, mainly this afternoon. Most of the moisture around the area earlier this morning, hugging along and just west of the I-45 corridor, just west of our viewing area. Highs you're going to notice over the next several days starting to warm up. 92 today. We'll be back up into the mid-90s tomorrow, also Friday and Saturday. Some moisture surging in from the upper Texas coast on Saturday, coming in off the Gulf, giving us an enhanced chance for rain this weekend. Thanks for watching and check back at noon for your midday news update.